Let's talk about how to check and plan for water temperatures, wind speed and direction, weather conditions, and how waves might affect you on a paddleboard. Before heading out on the water, every paddleboarder should know the four W's of water, wind, weather, and waves because paddle sports ease and safety are weather dependent. When the water temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit or below, serious injuries can result in as little as a few seconds to minutes. Even water temperatures approaching 50 degrees, death can occur within the first hour of cold water immersion. So you have to dress for both the air and water temperatures, but it's more important to be prepared for the cold water temperature, even in the summer, because it can kill you. You can also get in the water to cool off if you get too hot. Paddling into the wind could make a return trip to shore much longer and require more effort. Wind can be unpredictable. 15 miles per hour is the maximum safe range for well-experienced paddlers. Beginners should stick to 10 to 12 miles per hour. A breeze that starts pushing small waves up shouldn't cause problems, but if you start to see big patches of whitecaps, you should consider turning back, especially if you're on a large lake. The ideal situation is for the wind to be at your back, pushing your back toward the launch point. The next ideal situation is to head directly into the wind and waves or on a slight angle. The least stable position is for the wind and waves to hit you from the side. When paddling into the wind on your paddleboard, you want to get low by dropping to your knees for greater stability. If the wind's still a problem, get lower. Start by stowing your paddle under your body or in the cargo strap or ratchet strap so you don't lose it. Then lay on your belly with your hands in the water on either side of the board and swim your board back to shore. You can check weather and wind reports using various apps on your smartphone like the National Weather Service app or Weatherbug. And every paddler should know how to read the sky to predict the weather while you're out on the water because weather predictions can be wrong. And when they are, you'll see, hear, and smell rain approaching, for example. Know the weather conditions before your trip and understand how to read the sky while you're on the water. Knowing how a storm cloud looks and counting the seconds between a flash of lightning and the sound of thunder will tell you how far away a thunderstorm is from your location and how much time you have to get off the water before facing the dangers of lightning, high winds, and waves. If you see lightning and count 1 1000 and so on, until you hear the sound of thunder, every count is about one mile away from you. If I counted 1 1000, 2 1000, the weather would be about two miles away from me. You prepare for and react to changes in the water, wind, weather, and waves while paddleboarding by knowing the weather in advance of your outing or expedition, watching the sky while you're recreating, keeping the wind at your back and your paddleboard pointing into the waves, and get low on your board if the wind picks up as you paddle back to shore. Until next time, I'm your host, Antoinette Lee. See you on the river, in the backcountry, or in the horse barn.